In today's world, we have so many cures for diseases, but what is most overlooked is prevention. There are many ways to prevent getting sick, such as eating healthy, drinking water, exercising, and the most dreaded, vaccines. Vaccines have had a bad reputation due to 10% of the population having a phobia of needles along with the long list of risks that come with the injections. In this documentary, you will learn the importance of vaccines, the truth about the risks, and what can happen if you skip out on some shots. Did you know that once you were born, nine times out of 10, you got a vaccination? In most cases, you get a list of vaccinations that you must take in order to prevent a number of diseases. Although, there are two main shots that I will be discussing, which would be your series of hepatitis shots and the polio vaccination. What is hepatitis? Hepatitis means inflammation of the liver. The liver is the vital organ in our bodies that processes the nutrients we intake, filtering our blood, as well as fighting all infections. When the liver is inflamed or damaged, the liver cannot function. It's time to look into why we actually get the hepatitis B shot. It's the first shot that they get when they're first born because children are more prone to diseases than grown adults because their immune system haven't fully developed yet. And so if they acquire such symptoms or if they acquire these diseases, their symptoms are more severe than us, than us grown adults. So that's why it's important for them to get vaccines early on in their childhood so that they can grow the antibodies to fight these certain diseases. Vaccinations can also be referred to as immunizations. These immunizations can protect others you care about as well as saving your child's life. Because of advances in medical sciences, your child can be protected against more diseases than ever before. Now, why is the polio vaccination so important? Polio vaccines are vaccines used to prevent poliomyelitis. That's why it's very important for our kids to get the polio vaccine and they get the inactive polio vaccine to help reduce or re really eradicate the chance of them getting polio. Giving your baby all the recommended vaccines by the age of two is the best way to protect her or him from 14 serious childhood diseases. Choose immunizations. It's the powerful defense that's safe, proven, and effective. The age range of four to 16 is very broad but very vital. It's the first time in life where a person is exposed to so many people. The first step of this is starting kindergarten. Going to school requires immunizations, which is the main factor to consider when it is time to go to the doctors and get your child vaccinated. Throughout this age range, influenza, Tdap, and HPV vaccines should all be received. Each one is preventing a disease that could be extremely harmful. Every year, a new strain of the flu goes around, so being protected is very important, especially when going to school and being around so many others. Tdap is received every 10 years to cover the risk of getting tetanus. This is a very dangerous disease, and one small scrape could be life or death without the vaccination. Lastly, HPV is vital in lowering the risk of getting the sexually transmitted disease, which currently in today's age, there is no cure for. Let's look deeper into why parents should vaccinate their children. I think parents should take the initiative to vaccinate their children because I'm a firm believer in prevention. There are many vaccinations out here that do prevent disease. And just preventing you know, your individual and then focusing on your child and then also looking at a society level because your child is going to be around many different individuals. In the long run, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Vaccines may happen to come with risks, but the benefits will always outweigh them. Keeping up with your child's immunizations will protect them from deadly diseases and keep others out of harm's way when they're at school or at other large events. In conclusion, skipping vaccines will cause more harm than good, so the best option is to keep up with them and educate those around you. Now that we've looked at the younger ages, it's time to look why having vaccines and getting your child vaccinated is beneficial for when they get older. The general thought is that vaccines are only for toddlers and children as they go into their preteen years. No one ever really takes the time to consider the fact that getting your vaccines are required for you to go to college and also beneficial for your health as you get older. One of the main things of prevents against is meningitis. Let's take a look at exactly what meningitis is. <laughs> meningitis is one of the leading diseases that you can get or sicknesses that you can get in your 20s. 
So if you don't get meningitis, it spreads quickly, especially around colleges, um, and it's hospitalized. Could you imagine the epidemic of meningitis spreading around campus all because they weren't vaccinated at an early age? Another preventable disease is the flu, or influenza. There were 56,832 deaths due to pneumonia and influenza in 2013, which combined were the eighth leading cause of death in the U.S., while the age-adjusted death rate for pneumonia and influenza has increased 9% from 2012 to 2013. Now, I know what you're thinking. The flu, it can't be that bad. Well, it's not entirely fair to say that a single hug kills 4,500 people, but it's not entirely wrong either. The hug happened in August of 1910 when an effort by a Brazilian military engineer to lure members of an isolated tribe out of the Amazon. After 14 months of trial and error, finally the chief of the tribe and six companions showed themselves. The man from the outside world embraced the man from the forest world, and somewhere in that moment, pathogens passed. Three generations later, the tribe had initially numbered about 5,000 was down to just 550 people, all because their immune system was exposed to a pathogen that it had no immunity to. Hence the reason for the flu shot. It builds your immunity to the flu and prevents you from dying from it.